Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike. Thanks for spending a moment of your day with me. Today we are reviewing Cocaine Bear. It's a movie about a bear that does cocaine. And yes, I look like a fat baby because I fucked up shaving, but that's neither here nor there. Cocaine Bear is one of those movies that you'll just be up late at night in your skivvies, flipping around, trying to find something to watch on Tubi, and you come across this movie called Cocaine Bear, and you're like, I'm half in the bag. Fuck it, I'll watch it. And then you watch it, and it's actually got some good moments in it, and then you just fall in love with it, this weird gym that you found, and you tell all your friends about it. But instead, we're in this alternate universe where Cocaine Bear has been this well-marketed thing that presumably has some good money behind it. It's got good actors and actresses in it. And now there's expectations, and it feels strange in and around the hole. It delivers on the premise of the bear on cocaine. And yes, it's clearly a CGI bear. You could tell it was from the trailer. You know, it's not. this isn't meant to be like the Revenant-level CGI. And I guess we're done doing the whole Bart the Bear thing that we did with movies like The Edge. I don't think anybody does that anymore. But it is better than the Bear and Prey CG level. So it's somewhere between Prey and the Revenant as far as CG goes. And they're having to do a lot wackier things, too. So when the bear is on screen with the cocaine, it's good. Is every single moment with the bear on screen and cocaine hinted at in the trailer? Yes. You come up to a part and you're like, sweet, the bear is back on screen and he's doing cocaine. This is what I'm here for. Oh, this is that scene in the trailer. And, you know, they extend it. You know, it's, it's longer. There's more to it. But every scene is at the very least hinted at in the trailer. When you go back around the rest of the stuff that's going on in the movie, it just seems like a lot of it's, it's a movie that's waiting to make you really laugh. It feels like. There's jokes, but they don't actually, like, go there with the jokes. It's very strange. Like, O'Shea Jackson Jr. and Han Solo are hanging out as one of the many different sectors of this movie that's going on. For a movie about a bear on cocaine, they're treating this fucking thing like Game of Thrones. There's, like, eight different storylines going on in, in the woods. Just, like, for instance, they've got this buddy chemistry that's supposed to be there, and it's just not... Like, there's moments, you know when Tommy Boy, when they're listening to the to the radio in the car and, like, the love songs come on and it's like, change it if you want to. There's literally a, an opportunity for a moment like that. And they just don't do anything funny with it. Like, the dialogue and the jokes aren't there. But then you go back and the barrel rips someone's fucking head off and you're like, ha bear's on cocaine! And so the premise of the movie is kind of all there is. And that's a little disappointing, I'm going to be honest. And that was kind of the thing going into it. Like, at the time I went in, there was only a few reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. It's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And you're reading things like savagely funny, uproariously wild. And I'm like, oh man, maybe this is actually going to cross that barrier where it's this wild 2B TV type idea. But also we're going to have really good comedy in it it's going to be the first because comedies barely ever come out anymore right especially funny ones uh, it's going to be the first really funny movie in a while so that excites you but it's just the comedy's just not there there's there's wild shit that happens that makes you go, oh shit and there's a couple crackles of jokes but they really just don't there's no stomach laughs or anything like that as far as the horror stuff goes there is some awesome scenes with the bear for sure the blood, they they over CG the blood. There's a couple like of the wild scenes. It's like just use practical effects there. Use practical effects there. There's no reason for you to use CG blood right there. Um, I can't say what it is because it would be spoiler eyes. But there's one scene in particular where blood kind of like flies at the camera, and you're like, that would have been perfect for. But now it just looks kind of hokey. There's some fun like slocky horror stuff in there. The best part of the movie is definitely the ambulance chase scene that you see a little bit of in the trailer. But uh, for those who have seen the movie, that was definitely the best. I'll just say. Scrapey scrape. It does a double backflip scrapey scrape. And if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that scene had me in my seat like, oh, shit. I kind of yelped a little bit. I was like, God damn. That was a really cool kill. But, and there's, there's a couple of those moments like sprinkled throughout, like a little bit of cocaine dust. Like if you just went to the hotel after Aerosmith partied there and there was just some stuff left over. It's kind of what it feels like. It feels like there's more that could have been there. I don't know. They could have done more with the cocaine bear premise, I feel like. And then there's Ray Liotta just being misused in a way that feels like he is in some of like the Happy Gilmore production movies. How they use like Ray Liotta, like he's there, he's a mobster, he's after his cocaine, but they don't really ever let him off the handle. He doesn't have any crazy dialogue scenes. And then they do this weird thing at the end of the movie where they make him way too much of like a bad guy. There's He's being needlessly mean in a movie that's like, do we really need this plot arc to go this way? So the, the last act of the movie takes place like in this dark cave and everything that kind of looks bad. It just it, It's kind of dark and hard to see anything. It doesn't look great. And then I actually thought the end of the movie was going to be the lead up to the actual end of the movie with like 
a scene with the bear going crazy, a wild moment like that. Because right now we're dealing with all the people stuff for the most part that I really don't care about. All the characters are like half arced and they have like half backstories. It's, there's too much going on for a cocaine bear movie. I'm thinking we're gonna get another big set piece with the bear, and it's like, no, that was that was the end. That was that was the movie. And you're like, uh 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 oh. Okay. So yeah, I never expected Cocaine Bear to be a great movie or cinematic classic by any means or anything like that, but it's just an all right movie. It's not bad. I didn't have a terrible time watching it. Honestly, when you have this crazy concept and you have all the things, the tools they had to work with, at the end of the day, it's just a really, really mediocre take on what this movie could have been. And yeah, I know it's a dumbass fucking movie, but as far as they could have taken it further with certain aspects of it, they could have done more with the horror. They could have done more with the comedy just because it's a silly movie idea doesn't mean it can't be better so it was fine you won't have a terrible time watching it i won't say not to see it but i'll say that you're not missing that much if you wait till netflix i'll give this movie a six out of ten it's fine it's all right got it at walmart it's real nice and uh that's that's cocaine bear man did not feel like i was doing cocaine with a bear not enough of me doing cocaine with a bear and that's my yelp review but yeah, what did you guys think about Cocaine Bear? Comment down below. I hate, hate, hate not absolutely adoring and loving the shit out of these movies. And again, if I just randomly stumbled into this and didn't know I was about to watch a supposedly uproariously wild and crazy movie about a bear doing cocaine, I'd be like, holy shit, it's a movie about a bear doing fucking cocaine. Just one of those things, man. Expectations matter when it comes to movies and penis size. I love your all's fucking faces. If you're on the Patreon, the Patreon live stream is Saturday night at 9 p.m. If you're not, click on the link and take a look around. Close your eyes and just feel around a little bit. See what happens. You might find something you like. I love your all's fucking face. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. We'll see you soon. Halloween never ends. Suck my fucking dick. And I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box. Or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking, let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS, cause Halloween never